run. Your first priority is to get away, escape that area, run as far away as you can, and keep running till you're in a safe area. Hide. We want you to strategically find an area, whether it's an empty classroom, an empty office, maybe an empty closet. Fight. We've hidden, we've barricaded ourselves in. If someone is able to make it in there, then your only resort at that time, if you can't escape, is to take that subject out. As Winthrop students filled into their classes for the new semester, many immediately took notice of this bold flyer stating what to do in an active shooter situation. Wondering to myself, has this always been a policy? Has this always been a part of Winthrop's safety procedures? But um, I was definitely shocked to see that, but I was also glad that they do recognize that this is a potential threat. Lieutenant Yerda says that Winthrop police are well trained to handle such situation. The Winthrop Police Department in an active shooter situation is going to respond lights and sirens, full throttle. We're going to be the first ones there. Um, our response time anywhere on this campus with lights and sirens is less than two minutes. And it's important for students to be ready as well. This is why police cut the protocol down from six to three easy to follow steps. The whole basis of that is to save lives. That's what it's for. So we go in the order of what's going to save the most lives down to what we have to deal with. Lieutenant Yerda says that if you're in a situation where you have to hide, you want to barricade the door with any heavy objects like this, and then you want to take something like a rope or a lanyard and tie to the door handle to make it harder for the intruder to get in. And if any student groups want to learn more, Winthrop Police are happy to set up a hands-on active shooter training session. Reporting for Winthrop Close-Up, this is Kennedy Harris.